Yo, what's going on guys, JBH here, and welcome back to another video in the Verizon IndyCar series here on iRacing. This is at the Texas Motor Speedway. This is the Indy Fix Championship, and instead of recording the entire video like I usually do, I've actually just decided to cut it into little highlights, because basically what happened, I DNF'd, and it had to be one of the weirdest finishes, like, or weirdest DNF slash crashes of, like, all time. I have never, ever had something this big happened to me on iRacing in the form of netcode. It was a netcode incident. It's probably one of the biggest netcodes I've ever seen and let alone had to like happen to myself. Anyway, so basically I qualified second. I was only like two hundredths off the pole in the end. I had a crazy race with this guy in the Valvoline car who, in my opinion, drove way over aggressive and ended up wrecking the whole field anyway. So we'll just go through some of the sort of highlights of this race. So pretty much, this is the second restart after the second caution. I decided to pit early and get some fuel on board so that we didn't have to take fuel later on. The leader stayed out along with two other cars, so we are actually in fourth, even though this yellow car is in front of us. This uh, car was a lap down, which kindly stayed out the way for us. So, catching the top three, this is uh, pretty much just trying to save fuel and save tyres at this point but at the same time try and get some of the guys that are slightly slower ahead of us. For anyone out there that doesn't know the difference between defensive driving and blocking, so defensive driving is considered to be fine uh, throughout the race. Blocking you can sort of do on the last lap, maybe the first lap, uh, but defensive driving is basically allowed the whole way through the race in sort of the unwritten rules of motorsport now defensive driving is when when you stay on one side of the track and you hold that line this guy is a perfect example of what is not defensive driving this is pure blocking and it was only a matter of time before I completely fenced him because it I was when I'd go high he'd go high when I'd go low he'd go low and it's just I mean it's fine like you could do it but you can't have a hissy fit when you get put in the fence at 225 miles an hour. Anyway, so this is the <laughs> rant over. This is the third caution. So right now we're still running in second. We do have to make one more pit stop to try and go all the way to the end. So here it is, the third restart. Now, once again, another example of something that is illegal. You cannot hang this far back on a restart. And then he tries to get a run on the front three. So this is basically where the incident happened. The uh, previous leader's up to third. I decided to go the outside because he rammed into the back of the guy in second coming off the second corner. I tried to come down. He was still there, so I let up. Look into the outside because they were all pinned down on the bottom. And that happened. <laughs> I mean, I know everyone that has had net codes and whatnot. I mean, it happens more often than not. But this has got to be the most ridiculous thing I have ever seen. So this is on the roll bar camera of the car behind. So actually, the basically, the guy that's in third slightly tapped the back of the guy in second. And that seemed to initiate some crazy... Uh, <laughs> I racing net code deal that just completely sent me into the fence. <laughs> I mean, it's it's funny how bad it is. And what's crazy is that my net co uh my net co my connection is actually fine. Well, it was fine. So this is basically looking back at the guy in second. I mean, this is just the craziest thing I've ever seen on i racing. I mean, well, I've seen crazy things, but this comes pretty close, and. I mean, there is literally a full car width between me and this guy. Like, how does that even happen? Like, wow. I mean, from the race side of things, it didn't really matter in the end because the guy in third went on to do this in the next lap. So we ended up... Well, I mean, we would have ended up being fenced in the wall with all this malarkey with him. So that's how my IndyCar race at Texas <laughs> turned out this week. DNF... Uh, I think we finished like 15th out of the 23 that all went on to DNF anyway, so it is what it is. Uh, we'll move on to the next one at Road America next week, I think it is. That's going to be fun, back on a road course in the II-18. Still have no idea how to set up this car, it's a complete mystery to my team and myself, but 
Anyway, I thought I should just edit this video and uh, show you guys how it all went down this week and, and how probably one of the biggest netcodes on iRacing <laughs> went down. I mean, that that was wild. All right, guys, once again, thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, I'll catch you later.